I met up with my mum and we went to a concert and she was just like, what the fuck is, what the fuck's going on? And I was like, I need help, I really need help. And she said, okay, well, and then we met up with my stepdad after this concert and he sort of pretty much bailed me to the side and said, do you want help? And I said, yeah, and he goes, you better not be fucking with us, excuse my language, um, because if you scrass over this time, that's it. We don't want anything to do with you. This is it. Um, you're, this is what's going to happen. And he took me home and pretty much set me up in a bedroom and I lived under really strict circumstances and I had to go to work every day with my mum. Um, I had to report where I was at all times, so pretty much living in an army kind of camp. But that's what I needed. I needed that I had to cut ties with everybody, which I did, but still my addict side of my brain still wanted to keep one foot in the door. The biggest one for me would be my mum crying, saying, where's my daughter gone? And she'd grab me and she'd go, who are you? Well, I want my daughter back. And she'd be like in hysterics. She'd, you know, it was horrible. It was, it was horrible. And that still haunts me now because I think back and I was disgusting. Gained most trust back with all my friends and my family. I still have a little bit further to go, I think, with my, my parents, because I put them through hell. Um, and they still sometimes question people. So trust was a big thing that I lost with addiction. That's taken me over six years to get back.